Did it work? Almost? <laughs> yes. Awesome. Can I just try this? Yes. Okay. Oh, I already started. So hi, my name is Mike, uh, or you probably know me better as uh, that crazy guy from Team Too Awesome. Um, and I want to talk to you about uh, the side projects at Bow.com and their good, bad, and ugly side. Um, and the reason why I want to do this is because I believe that everyone should be involved in at least one side project while working here. Um, and I feel like a ro lot of people don't really want to do it, don't see the benefit of it, or don't know how to do it. And I'm hoping with this talk I'll be able to converse convert the first part and uh, help the other ones. So let's start with the good parts. Um, the first thing that I notice is this is the best way to meet new people. And expanding your circle is actually very important for your everyday work life because the more people you know, the more people you ask when you're in this situation, which happens a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing is that while working with others, you expand your, um, you expand your perspective, you see things in a different way, and you will find maybe not better, but at least different ways, ways to solve the problems that you normally solve in your team. And of course, most of those side projects were, are gonna be IT wishes, as we call them, and it's a perfect way to experiment with that new cool technology that you probably won't have the chance to do within your team. And for me personally, working on side projects within the company has been an invaluable source of knowledge for both the Bow.com landscape and software development in general. And at the end, it's super fun. I mean, if you do something on the side, you're probably super excited about it. And the people that you do it with are probably excited as well. <laughs> and that creates an incredible synergy that you just have to exper experience. <laughs> but this talk is not about Let's make side projects at Bow.com great again. So there are some downsides that you should be aware of. And the first one that, I, that happened to me is that uh, those things can spiral out of control very fast. I mean, I was talking with a colleague about putting the web shop in, con in a container. The next day, we were working on putting our largest application and making it pl playing nice with Mayfly, which can be very demanding. Um, and all the while you feel like this, like I have no idea what I'm doing. And also working on side projects will really take you out of your comfort zone. And because working with others and exploring new technologies might be fun, but it can also be very stressful and you should be prepared for that. And now the last part, <laughs> the ugly part. <laughs> These are probably, <laughs> these are, okay. I need 10 extra seconds just for this. <laughs> I'll move to the next slide. <laughs> this is me trying to figure out how to do uh, a side project within Bow.com. There are no clear guidelines. Your manager is probably gonna say, yeah, you have to do it, but won't be able to tell you how to do it because Everyone has their own way of working and finding your way of doing your pro side project is also something that's up to you. But my advice would be just put yourself out there. Talk to, talk to people, share your ideas, ask people about their ideas. And the moment you find something that you're interested about, just go for it. Don't think too much. And once you do that, you probably end up in the same situation that I was and face the issue that I had, and that is time. You would need to find time to work on that side project while still fulfilling your responsibilities within the Scrum team. And I fell into the trap of spending too much time outside of my team, and although I'm really happy with the results that I achieved with my side projects, um, I, felt, I feel like I could have uh, given more, and I should have given more to the team. So you should be aware of that as well. And my advice how to do it is just be honest with your team. Um, Tell them what you want to do. Uh, don't be shy to ask time offspring because you feel worse when you disappoint them. And hopefully, if you keep all those things in mind, you will be like me and be super excited about a new adventure, which is something that I hope we'll see presentations of during the next Space Summit. And I think I'll just talk for another 10 seconds because I'm really curious what Walter is going to play next. <laughs> or I can just go back to... Thank <laughs> you.